seen me. And I'm not about to get real deep into the explanation. Because I got a story time for y'all coming soon. All I got to say is it's 4.30 in the morning. And I can't sleep. I slept earlier. I'm on my cycle. So my sleep schedule is a little weird. But today we're going to work and getting our hair done. In my, I know y'all didn't see it because I haven't been on here in a long time. But I had red hair. The ends ended up turning pink. But whatever. I'm getting my hair done at 3 o'clock. Hair appointment at 3 o'clock. And I told myself, like, as soon as the sun come up, I'm putting my dance clothes in the washer. Like, it's time for them to get washed. I'm washing my dance clothes as soon as the sun come up. So, I'm trying not to look in the camera because I got this flash on me. But, yeah, it's time to take out this sewing. It's been a whole month. And today is Thursday, by the way. So, this really not the weekend. But, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, y'all get a block. Well, it's Thursday. But, y'all might not get this till Friday because the way everything is set up but when i go get my hair done though at three o'clock i'm going to work straight after so i'm going to take my dance bag and all my dance stuff with me to my hair appointment because as soon as i'm done getting my hair done i'm going straight to work i'm not coming back home that's just real over, over the place but i have not been asleep the only one that got some sleep was chewing i know y'all gonna be like girl when did you get a new dog Listen, we could talk about that later. Today, it's all about stripping, baby. All about the money today, honey. So, I'm just about to take everything out of my dance bag. This is everything I need. When I said I was washing everything, baby, I meant that. I'm washing everything. This is the first time I've ever, ever, ever came down in this basement. This fucking way. Oh, my God. Let me look. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? So the video might look a little groggy because now I'm using my front camera. Even though I have a 15, y'all know how do iPhones be. Like, bro, I can use the back camera. It look like I got a whole Canon G7. But anyway, let's get into this. What I put in my bag when I go to work. Excluding my clothes because y'all know my clothes is in the washer. So anyway, so I wouldn't recommend you taking... I would No, I would recommend you to take your own soap to work because usually... I mean, it just depends on how you work. Usually, every time you go to a club, they never have antibacterial soap or actually a, a cleanser soap, a soap that cleans. Every time I go to a club, the only type of soap they have is Dove, and Dove is not a cleanser. And if you're dancing for five plus hours and you're trying to go freshen up, Dove is not, it's going to make you smell good, but you're not clean. You feel me? So, that's why when you're going home after using Dove at the club, you see dirt in the tub because you're not clean. So, I use the Dr. Burner soap. Like, a lot of people say that they feel like this strip they skin. Woo -woo. I don't care. You can take it how you want. I'm using, I'm taking and using Dr. Barnard's. I'm not using no Dove soap. So the perfume that I recommend, the perfume that I take to work is my Burberry Her perfume. Make sure you take your expensive shit to work, you hide it because the bitches will steal it. So that was the second. The third thing I recommend you to take to work is your own deodorant. I don't know, like, okay, once again, the house moms at my job have deodorant, but every bitch in there is using it i don't want to smell like the next bitch i don't i, don't, I mean i don't i can't even i don't even think i can cuss on here but i don't want to smell like the next oop. you feel me i don't want to smell like them i want to have my own scent my own fragrance every time i go to work and just tell me i smell good as fuck bitches walking around they smell like street walkers we're not doing that over here we're not doing that over here so dove said that this um i use dove dry spray that's one thing i do use at work i got this um it's a new on here and i don't really know if it's new because this is my first time buying this one but it's called rose petals and when i smell baby listen i seen this in cbs it said new so i was like okay let me see it say rose petals i took it off baby i sprayed it dark i just know for a fact like this smells so good this is the first thing i um recommend you to take to work now these are not allowed at my job so i hope nobody at my job watching this is gonna snitch on me because if you do you know we gotta get active but Take you some wipes. You're gonna need these. You're gonna need to take you some wipes. Now, these are not allowed at my job because bitches flush them down the toilet. I do recommend you to take your own wipes to work. You're gonna need them. Don't ask me why. You're gonna need them. Okay, fifth thing that I recommend you taking to work is a moisturizer. Now, this also is not allowed at my job. I'm not saying go in there and lather up, lotion down. I'm not saying that. But put it on your main spots. Y'all see true. Put it on your main spots that you know you ashy, like your knees, your elbows, your toes. If you're ashy in those spots, I don't even know what number I want. But if you're gonna be um at work, 
Make sure your lips not dry. I swear, I swear. Ooh, I swear. Especially if you got lip filler. If you got lip filler, you need to make sure your lips are not dry. I am going to put this in my basket. Oh, shit. I'm going to put it in my basket. And then I'm going to put it in the dryer because... I don't like, I can't risk my shit for a little bit. Then it's kind of about to go to work. Oh, yeah. woke up but once again um i got a little drunk last night and i didn't really record none of the club scenery because it was nothing to record y'all the club was so dead bro i made like chicken grease i made crumbs last night bro but it's okay because today is friday and i don't know if i edited the part out when i said y'all always gonna be getting the vlogs um a day late because I get off at 2 a.m. I'm not about to come home and be editing videos, y'all. I can't do it. My head was hurting so bad last night. There was no money to make. Let's just say that. Everybody was complaining. It was bitches leaving. It was just, it was horrible. So, y'all, before I count my money, I'm going to give y'all a quick little story time. So, it was these two dudes at the bar. And, um, they were spending money. But it was this girl on stage. And now, I didn't even notice this girl on stage um, until the man I was dancing for pointed her out. He was like, why does she have her panties over her outfit? And I don't know if y'all know what that looked like, but whatever. It looked um, pretty tacky, but I told him like, if she would have had the same color on. Okay, so basically she had on a net outfit and it was turquoise, but she had a black thong over it. And I said, okay, well, maybe if she had the same color thong as her outfit, it wouldn't look bad because I've done that before. And But I wear the same color thong over the outfit. He was like, yeah, she crazy. She, she looks dumb. I'm like, yeah, she do look dumb. And then he was like, oh, she was over here begging me for money begging me for a dollar i'm like what so i'm not paying the girl no attention she's on stage i don't even know her so she comes over to um where we at at the bar and she is like on him like this girl is drunk on him like he is looking at everybody like giving everybody that awkward look like if you don't get this month off me more of the story like She's on him, but mind you, me and old girl I was dancing with, and we was dancing for the dudes at the bar, had money on the floor. So when it came time, like I wasn't even paying attention to this girl, but when it came time for the porter to come pick up our money, I I told her, I said, can you move your feet off the, off the, off our money? Like, do you know that this, this girl gonna say to me, <clears throat> oh, this your man? I'm not rude. I'm not rude. I said, no, I told you to move your money off. I mean, ugh, your feet off our money. She's just keep on saying, I'm not rude. I said, I never said you was rude. She's talking about don't be mean. I'm thinking then, suit the, when she said that, the only thing that came in my head is, okay, she crazy. She's crazy. I never said that you were rude. I never said that I, I wasn't even being mean, y'all. I swear to God, like. I don't be being a bitch to nobody for no reason. I literally was like, can you move your feet so the porter can pick our money up? Like, and then she started talking about some other shit. And I'm like, no, move your feet. Like, you you gonna piss me off. So, she over there. My jaw, they got a bottle. 
Mind y'all, not even, I, like, God forgive me, but the girl wasn't even cute. And then she had, like, these box braids in her head that looked like they was, like, fucking six months old. The security told her to move, and then she gonna look at the dudes and say, they want me over here. And both of them was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Do you know that this girl look at me? Talk about, I'm gonna see you in the dressing room. I'm gonna see you in the dressing room. I was like, okay. Like, what? what is, I'm supposed to be scared? Yo, but Am I supposed to be scared? So, she went down to the dressing room. And I'm on my way to the dressing room, but she's coming out the dressing room. Why she bumped the girl that I was dancing next to? Why you didn't do that to me? Okay, let's do the money count. She be funny. And then I, um... Then I seen her... Uh, in the dressing room later on, messing with the house mom. The house mom was like, okay, junkie, okay, junkie. And then next thing you know, I seen her leaving. I swear to God, you got to be a strong-minded ass person to work there because it is true what people say. Like, y'all, them girls in there with them big-ass BBLs, they think they better than you. Trust me. And the only person, the only people that don't think a bitch with a BBL is better than you is you and the customers. But sometimes that's not enough, y'all. You got to have that confidence. like. And I tell a lot of girls this. A lot of new girls especially. You have to have confidence. It's crazy that I'm about to upload this video and then I'm about to record another video for Friday. Okay, bye everybody.